Today, we'll discuss 10 crucial signs that may indicate low oxygen levels in your blood, feeling short of breath, or experiencing unusual fatigue. These symptoms might be signaling that your body isn't getting enough oxygen. In this video, we'll explore these 10 common indicators of low blood oxygen levels to help you understand the importance of oxygen in our bodies. Before we proceed, please remember that this video is for educational purposes only. If you have any medical concerns, it's crucial to consult with your doctor. Number one, shortness of breath, dyspnea. Have you ever felt like you couldn't catch your breath even when you weren't exerting yourself? This sensation, known as dyspnea, can occur due to various reasons, with low blood oxygen levels being one of the common culprits. To understand why low oxygen levels can lead to shortness of breath, let's first examine how our body regulates oxygen. The lungs, our primary respiratory organ, play a vital role. They absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide, a metabolic waste product. Oxygen enters the lungs and binds to hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells. Hemoglobin then transports oxygen to our tissues and organs, where it's used for energy production. When blood oxygen levels drop, our body tries to compensate by increasing both the rate and depth of breathing. Specialized cells in our arteries detect low oxygen levels, sending signals to the brain, which, in turn, instructs respiratory muscles to enhance breathing. While this response aims to bring more oxygen into our lungs, persistent oxygen depletion may overwhelm these compensatory mechanisms resulting in the feeling of breathlessness. Moreover, low oxygen levels can lead to an excessive production of carbon dioxide, further contributing to shortness of breath. The brain has receptors that detect changes in carbon dioxide levels, prompting increased breathing to eliminate the surplus carbon dioxide. Number two, rapid breathing, hyperventilation. In response to declining blood oxygen levels, our body naturally increases breathing rate and depth to take in more oxygen. This heightened breathing, known as hyperventilation, is a common symptom of low blood oxygen levels. While this response can be beneficial during exercise, where the body requires more oxygen to fuel physical activity, it can exacerbate the situation when oxygen levels are low. Hyperventilation can lead to excessive loss of carbon dioxide, further reducing oxygen delivery to tissues. Hyperventilation can cause various symptoms, including dizziness, lightheadedness, tingling in the extremities, and even fainting in severe cases. If you experience these symptoms, especially alongside other concerning signs, it's essential to seek medical attention. Number three, wheezing. Wheezing, a high-pitched whistling sound when breathing, is a common symptom that can occur with low blood oxygen levels. It is usually associated with respiratory conditions like asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. But it can also be a response to decreased oxygen levels. When blood oxygen levels drop, the body's respiratory system attempts to compensate by increasing both the rate and depth of breathing. In some instances, the body may respond by narrowing the airways. This narrowing can result from various factors. The body may produce substances that constrict the airways, such as histamine, which is involved in immune responses. The airways themselves might become inflamed or narrowed due to low oxygen levels, particularly in individuals with pre-existing lung diseases like COPD. Wheezing can be a concerning symptom, particularly when accompanied by shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. Number four, Confusion. Low blood oxygen levels can lead to cognitive issues like confusion. The brain relies heavily on a continuous supply of oxygen to function correctly. When oxygen levels drop in the blood, the brain may not receive sufficient oxygen, causing cognitive problems, including confusion. Several factors can lead to low oxygen levels, such as respiratory conditions like pneumonia or acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, which can hinder oxygen uptake in the lungs. Heart or circulatory issues, like heart failure or shock, can also result in reduced blood oxygen levels. In some cases, confusion may be the initial sign of low oxygen levels, especially in elderly individuals or those with pre-existing cognitive impairments. Confusion might be accompanied by symptoms such as shortness of breath, rapid breathing, and an elevated heart rate. Number five, headache. One common symptom associated with low blood oxygen levels is a headache. While headaches can stem from various causes, a primary factor is insufficient oxygen supply to the brain. When blood oxygen levels drop, the brain may not receive the necessary oxygen, resulting in headaches. 
Intriguingly, high altitude sickness, which occurs at higher elevations where oxygen levels are lower, can also lead to headaches, along with symptoms like fatigue, dizziness, and shortness of breath. Number six, blue tinted skin or lips, cyanosis. Cyanosis refers to a medical condition where the skin and lips turn blue or purple due to insufficient oxygen in the blood. When the body's tissues don't receive enough oxygen, the body redirects oxygen-rich blood to vital organs, like the brain and heart, away from less critical areas like the skin. This redirection causes the skin and lips to appear blue, indicating insufficient oxygen. Cyanosis can result from various conditions, including respiratory and circulatory issues, exposure to cold temperatures, or high altitudes with decreased oxygen availability. Number seven, chest pain. Chest pain, a common symptom with numerous potential causes, can also result from low blood oxygen levels. A primary contributor to chest pain in such cases is angina, which occurs when the coronary arteries that supply blood to the heart muscle become narrowed or blocked, reducing blood flow. This reduced blood flow can lead to chest pain or discomforts, often described as tightness, pressure, or squeezing in the chest. Angina is typically triggered by physical activity or emotional stress, which increases the heart's demand for oxygen. If oxygen is insufficient, the heart muscle may not function correctly, resulting in chest pain. Angina can signal underlying heart disease, such as coronary artery disease. It's important to note that chest pain can also indicate other serious medical conditions including heart attacks and pulmonary embolism. Therefore, seeking medical attention is crucial if you experience chest pain, especially if it's accompanied by symptoms like shortness of breath, nausea, or dizziness. Number eight, fatigue. Fatigue, characterized by feelings of tiredness, weakness, or exhaustion, can have numerous causes. One significant factor contributing to fatigue is inadequate oxygen supply to the body's tissues. When blood oxygen levels drop, the body may struggle to perform normal functions, leading to feelings of weakness and fatigue. Other contributing factors to fatigue include poor sleep, stress, depression, and anxiety, which can disrupt hormonal balance, resulting in tiredness and weakness. Lifestyle factors, such as poor nutrition, lack of exercise, and dehydration, can also play a role in fatigue. When the body isn't adequately fueled and hydrated, it may lack the energy needed for its usual functions leading to tiredness and exhaustion. Additionally, certain medications, including antidepressants, antihistamines, and sedatives, can induce fatigue as a side effect. Number nine, dizziness. Dizziness, characterized by lightheadedness, unsteadiness, or a spinning sensation, can be triggered by various factors, including low blood oxygen levels. When blood oxygen levels drop, the brain may not receive enough oxygen to function correctly leading to dizziness or lightheadedness. Other factors that can contribute to dizziness include low blood pressure, dehydration, and specific medications, such as blood pressure medications or sedatives. Identifying the underlying cause of dizziness is essential for appropriate treatment, which might involve lifestyle changes, medical interventions, or both. Number 10, sweating. Sweating is another common symptom that can occur with low blood oxygen levels. The body's response to decreased oxygen levels is to increase blood flow and oxygen delivery to tissues, leading to sweating. Hyperventilation, which aims to boost oxygen intake, can also induce sweating as the body regulates its temperature. Other factors contributing to sweating may include anxiety, stress, and specific medications, such as blood pressure medications or antidepressants. Thank you for watching this video. Remember that if you're experiencing any of the 10 signs we discussed today, it's crucial to seek medical attention promptly. Low blood oxygen levels can have serious consequences. But with timely treatment, you can regain your well-being. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you loved this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more health-promoting natural tips. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Your support fuels our mission to guide you toward a life brimming with health, and vitality. Stay healthy and stay happy.